I've got it. What are my options? There are several options. There are a number of people who choose not to be treated. That's called watchful waiting. If the symptoms are not very bothersome, let's say, for example, you're starting to have a slight decrease in the force of your urine stream. Let's say you're getting a little dripping at the end. Maybe you're going a little more frequently to the bathroom. Maybe you're waking up once at night. Those are fairly mild symptoms, and if they're not very bothersome, we typically don't treat at that point in time but we do watch you more closely. What does that mean? Well, perhaps you'll visit a urologist every six months, perhaps once a year, just to make sure there are no other problems developing. So in the urologist's office, we'll check you. We'll see how large the prostate is. We'll make sure there are no, there's no evidence of an infection in your bladder, that there are no stones. So that's called watchful waiting. If the symptoms get to a point where they're more bothersome, you're getting up more at night, you're going more often during the daytime, perhaps you have urgency, uh, where you don't have a lot of warning, and in its worst form, perhaps it's coming out before you get to the bathroom, then that's a more bothersome type of BPH, and now we start looking at how we can treat that. Well, there are various ways. One is with medication. In fact, medication is the most common initial treatment for benign prostate growth, or BPH. Medication works in about half of the patients, and half of patients don't respond. In the half where it works, about half of those patients will stop responding in about 18 months. Mm -hmm. And the reason is not because you become resistant to medication. The reason is because your prostate continues to grow while you're on medication. So medication relaxes some muscle fibers in the prostate, relaxes some muscle fibers near the bladder, so it opens the channel up a little bit. But it doesn't stop the growth of the prostate, which, as I said before, is a daily occurrence in all men. <clears throat> So medication can help about half of us for about 18 months, and then at that point, half of us need something else. If patients don't want to try medication, if patients have side effects from medication, or if patients are in the group where medication is not working, then we have other ways of dealing with prostate growth. And we want to do something to make the prostate smaller because that's what's causing the problem. So there are various ways of doing that. There are surgical options and there are office-based therapies. In the old days, all we had was surgery. It used to be called the rotor-rooter procedure. Right. And literally, that's what we did. We scraped out the inside of the prostate mm -hmm. to make it larger, and that would take care of the problem. But surgical procedures have the potential for side effects and complications. Side effects include bleeding, anesthetic complications, infections, scar tissue formation, erection problems afterwards. So we've looked for alternatives. Now there are newer surgical procedures when we use devices like lasers and other new instruments to try and minimize those side effects. But starting about 15 years ago, office-based therapies, minimally invasive therapies, began emerging and nowadays we can treat the majority of patients who need their prostates reduced in size with an office-based treatment. Those office-based treatments have one thing in common. They heat the prostate to the point where we destroy the cells that are compressing or squeezing the urethra, which is causing your difficulty urinating. Those treatments typically take about 30 minutes to do in the office. We can use microwave energy, and we can use radio frequency energy. So the microwave procedure is called cooled thermotherapy, and the radio frequency energy is called prostiva. And both of those will effectively heat the tissue around the urethra, cause it to shrink over the next several months. And as it shrinks, little by little, the prostate channel opens up, urine flows more easily, the bladder has to work less hard to push urine out, and your symptoms resolve. So the majority of men today will benefit from these procedures and are able to avoid a surgical procedure.